in the job interview at all. Choice is yours. Life is yours. This decision is completely yours to be taken. How do you speak your words in such a manner that you are going to juggle with the words appropriately and that is going to hit to the mind, heart and soul of the recruiter and the recruiter is going to get you a job. Understand it is very very important. It is simply not speaking to the recruiter. It is interpreting those sentences or interpreting those meaningful lines which has impact upon the others. It may be asked to you, dear all, that why should we hire you? It's a general question we have already discussed yesterday. The next cross question of this question is like this. Tell me how you are different from others. In what way you are different from others? Prove yourself like that. So in what way you are different from others? Tell me. You have also done your BTEC in civil engineering. He also did his BTEC in civil engineering. Right? You have done your post diploma in advanced, uh, what is post diploma in structural, uh, structural uh, designing and analysis with project management. Even you did it. Right? PDSQ. So if this project management uh, module is same for both of you, Civil engineering background is also same for both of you. Where lies the difference? Strength I matters. Personal Strength matters. Fine. Personal. I can admit it. Next. Skills. Uh, personal, okay. skills personal, skills personal skills and professional skills. skills. Okay. How to deliver that matters. What you have learned, that doesn't matter. How you are going to execute them, how you are going to deliver them, that matters. So you are going to say to the recruiter, Obviously, I may have the same skills which my friends are having. Definitely, I do also have the same education what my friends are having. But what differs is that how I execute them and how I interpret them and how I make them to the use. What skills I have learned? All my friends have also learned the same skills. But what I am going to deliver, I have a difference with the delivery. I have a difference with my execution. I have a difference with making the things done. So I do feel that if I get an opportunity to make it, I will certainly showcase my abilities for it. In fact, if you uh, want an example of it, with all the AutoCAD classes which I have attended, when there was a small project demonstration on to usage of AutoCAD and all, the things which I have done was much more faster, much more proficient, and much more executive than the others. So it proved that, yes, I have different execution skills. I have the ability to execute the things in a proper manner. So that makes me different from the other, or that makes me different from the crowd. Got a clarity? Please speak with the next question. Pardon? Uh -huh. Uh, yes, uh, let me just tell you, <laughs> it's nothing like that, English is more important, but for example, the recruiter is from south side or the recruiter is from uh, mm -hmm. the other um, um, fields wherein he is not very much aware of the language, so he will definitely speak in English only. And that year I'm, I'm aware of it. And you are not aware of uh, his language, right? So in that case, you have to speak in English. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if the recruiter is from north side or maybe from eastern side and you are willing to ask him that, sir, if it is comfortable for you in the next mode of language, I can easily express myself. You can do that. It's up to you right now to ask the recruiter. But if, it, if the recruiter is from Odisha and you are talking in Odia, it's fine. It's quite okay. But at the same time, you need to ask to the recruiter, sir, if there is no SOC pathway adding a different language which is comfortable for both of us so that I can express and I can be more expressive for it. This sort of things that you need to ask to the recruiter. Any questions please? Do you have any questions? Well, this is supposed to be the last question of any interview board. Do you have any questions for me? Do you have any queries? Now, if you 
you are a potential player. If the interview process is going very smoothly with you, definitely you'll be asking a lot of things. But if the recruiter uh, has asked you this question and by that time your mind has completely got blockage and you are completely stuck with a lot of questions the recruiter has asked you, you can say it like this. Sir, at the moment, I may not be having more questions to ask because the interaction with you was so good that most of my doubts got clear and most of my questions which I was supposed to ask you, you have already answered me. So at the present moment, I may not be having much to ask. Definitely, you can just speak about it. I came to know much about the company, the style of questions that you have put into me. I got a little bit of clarity that yes, the work culture of the company must be like this. So I had a lot of uh, doubts with uh, that and which got cleared up during the interaction I had with you. But if I'm getting an opportunity to join the organization, certainly I may discuss you sensibly. Now, it again says that you are having an interest to join that company and you have that sort of hope to get into the organization. But the next important thing is that if your flow of interview is going very smoothly, in this case, you can ask to the recruiter about the training opportunities. So, as I'm going to join as a fresher, if there are certain training opportunities for freshers to get into the work culture and to know the know-how of the company, how it works and all, then certainly it will help us as a fresher to join the organization. You can, you can ask like this also, right? Any more questions? Please summon me the questions.